Standing backstage, the fans cheering their name, Death Bolt is ready to rock the crowd's faces off. Or so they thought. Faye, their fearless lead guitarist, can't seem to find her guitar. Scrambling, she tries to find it as the cheering gets louder. Her bandmates, Griff and Ian, urging her to put some damn pep in her step. Faye, fearing the worst after looking in the last possible place her guitar could be, goes to break the news to the rest of the band members, only to have them begin to morph into completely different people. Freaking out, Faye jolts awake, relieved to realize that it was only just a dream. Well, part of it. The figures that were in her dream also appear to be standing over her. Luckily, the half-formed features turn out to be her friends who are impatient to tell her about an upcoming battle of the band's tournament. Excited about the opportunity to rock out in front of an audience, Faye rushes to go sign up. Once the deed has been done, she goes to tell her other bandmates. Griff is sound asleep at home, and no matter how many hardcore chords Faye plays, she just can't seem to wake him. Throwing in the towel, she decides to go find Ian, who lives in the buffest looking woods I've ever laid my eyes upon. On her way through the woods, she soon finds out that she has developed some type of heavy metal curse where she is able to fight with the sick sounds of her guitar. Once Faye meets up with Ian, she quickly learns that because she has signed her band up, that they too have the curse to fight with riffs and chords aplenty. Ian, excited to try it out, is quickly pulled out of his excitement when he hears his friend Claire screeching through the woods. Worried for her safety, he and Faye set off to make sure everything is alright. Journeying through Tone Woods, our bandmates run into several unique and interesting things. A fish that lays down healing beats, a delivery guy who would care less about delivering and allows them to take whatever supplies they need, and a strong muscled snail they must defeat in order to prove to the woods that they are indeed worthy. After a hard fought victory, the woods concede to their awesomeness and allows them to move forward. Faye and Ian continue through the woods until they reach Claire who just so happens to be a giant tree with a giant itch. Figuring they had come this far, the duo prepares themselves for whatever lurks in Claire's head. Hello everyone, my name is Potato Aim and welcome to my channel where we take a first look at the hidden gems known as indie games. And today we're going to be taking a look at the game called Death Bulge Battle of the Bands. It's a quirky... Uh, indie game with a new twist on like JRPG uh, mechanics heavily centered around um, a quirky cast and music being what you fight with which I think was a little weird but after playing for a little bit I kind of got into the swing of it so if you're new to the channel what's going to happen is I'm going to play a little bit um, see if this is a game that you are interested in and if it is you know go ahead and go cop that over on steam and if it's not eh, then maybe you can you know pass on but right now we're going to go ahead and get started uh, last we left off we were going into claire's head which is kind of gross but you know it is what it is whoa check out the tent are those drawings of us Ooh. okay let's go check it out uh, kick. Sa Save. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, so this is kind of a really quirky game. So one of the things that I like are like the names of the characters and like their interactions. So Sava is the save. Hey, Ian. Hey, Faye. How did you get here before us? I mean, it'd be pretty embarrassing if I was slower than you when I'm the one wearing roller skates. Who the hell is this? Wow! This is Seva, a friend of Briff's, apparently. Speaking of which, you were right. I did knock him out. I realize that now. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, Seva's documenting our journey leading up to the Battle of the Bands for a project. Oh, is that so? Yeah, and it's paying off already. We've barely started and things have already taken an interesting turn. It's so cool that you're able to fight with music. Shame you had to fight shrub brushers. Mm. Shame you had to fight shrub bushers, though. They're so cute. Cute in my arse. They chase you and clap you to death. 
Those bushy idiots should consider themselves lucky I'm not back in that forest. Ugh, anyway, I have something you guys might be interested in. Apparently, it can unlock music potential. Could be something worthwhile. Oh wow, that's sick. Where'd you get that? That strange person with the box on their head gave it to me. I'll happily carry it around for you, seeing as I don't have any musical instruments to worry about. Um, sure? The demite... The demite... What the? The device emits a soothing yet sick tone. You begin to hear a voice speak to you from within. You must be Death Bulge. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I sense great talent within, but you are limiting yourselves. Fortunately, I can help with that. Allow me to bestow a special gift upon you. Now, I don't actually know if it's singing, but it just felt like the right course of action to take. Class changer. Grants you the ability to modify the class mod slot, allowing you to switch up your base stats and appearance. Oh. So one thing that I will say that I'm not terribly big fan of is some of the information is a little overwhelming. Um, I appreciate that they do pop up with the tips or whatever, but the tips are like stacked. So it's kind of hard to remember what's what. Classes greatly shape the strengths, weaknesses, and even the appearance of a character. They can be changed at any time in the gear menu via the class mod set. Every mod is linked to a class. For example, when a busker mod is equipped in a character's class mod slot, they become a busker. In addition, any equipped mod from that same class costs half as much hype to use. Like, okay. Every mod is linked to a class. When a busker mod is equipped in a character's class mod slot, they become a busker. Okay. Now you can experiment through the art of class changing. I am detecting a great amount of energy lying dormant in your beats. Are you interested in learning more? My beats have power lying dormant? Nope, sorry mate, you're just too suspicious. No, I want to know about the power. Indeed. In fact, I can tell that the sickness levels of your beats are currently quite low. You take that back. Through the sacrifice of material, both I can channel musical energy into your beats, boosting their effects significantly. Beat boosting. The that guy, Mod Pod. Can upgrade your beats for a fee. Typically, beats can be upgraded twice, and doing so can unlock hidden potential lying dormant within them. However, certain legendary beats cannot be upgraded at all. But what are the chances of you coming across one of those? Mm. Perhaps you already own enough material wealth to boost your beats. Let us have a look. Um, I've got the demon number 666. Oh, I do not. So you wish to unlock the power lying dormant with your beats very well then. Oh, this one's a hundred bucks. Deals fire damage to a single foe. But if I boost it, 10 to 13 damage to a single foe, is that it? I know we gotta keep scrolling, bro. Never know if something's underneath that. Oh yeah, let's do it. Boost his beat? Sure. I can sense that this beat has become far, far sicker. Use it well. Alright. Neat. Let's get out of here. Is that it? Was that all she wrote? Feel free to take a nap if you like. I got a little, little sleeping bag right over there. Oh yeah. Almost forgot. Here to save. See, I told you. Save a... Um, yes please. Can I take a nap? Take a quick nap? Yes. I don't know what's about to go down, but I'd like to heal. Who is this dude? Know what? It's alright. Okay, bada bing bada boom. Alright, let's roll out. You know, for a giant tree, her hair does look pretty luxurious here. What's over here? Is that a beer bottle? What's going on? What the? Is that a hip hop pigeon? What is this? The Beacon Bill Zone? What's with all these damn birds? I guess this is technically a tree. 
Looks like they've nested, judging by all the rubbish everywhere. We better be careful. These birds and uh, bird adjacent characters look more capable of musical damage than those back in the forest. Yeah, damn. Look at the boom on that box. So, platypus. Are we saying it's a bird? Because I'm pretty sure it is not. Oh my god! Calm down. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. I got stuck. <laughs> Shoot. Okay. Alright, so. One of the things that I learned about myself um, as I play several different types of games is that I am very much so a do as much damage as physically possible to beat them really quickly type of player. Turns out, you can't do that all the time. So, with this particular game, I have learned that what you kind of want to do is you want to debuff the other guys so that when it's time for you to activate, you can come in hitting hard. So that's um, the schedule, the game plan that I'm going to do now. So I've got, I got Slick Lick, which is just an attack, so I don't want that yet. Uh, this deals pain. So it deals minuscule melody damage to a single foe. Applies two measures of pain to the enemy's bar. So down below is just like, I don't know what the bar is called, but it's their bar. It's what moves, lets you know who is getting ready to attack. And so if you put debuffs into that bar, it slows them down and it also could possibly like injure them. It kind of just all depends on what like debuffs are, what actions you have. So I use this one pretty frequently. Hair Shredder freaks me out because it says, warning, this move has a 20% chance to backfire. And I don't really want it to backfire, but I might try it. Ooh, no, really? Deals light melody damage to all foes. Applies one measure of pain per enemy struck to the enemy's bar. How much is 50 hype? <sighs> okay, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it, we're gonna see what happens. See, it backfired. Ooh, okay. Guys, I can already tell you that <laughs> we are not doing so well. Uh, we have strong tone, minus that moderate noise, here, which is single flow, fortify, and then frenzy. All right, let's fortify. Yeah, buff it up. We're gonna switch to her because she moves faster. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna do... Face Melter. None of them been hurt yet. Let me see what info we got here. That's just me. Uh... Milkshake? Which one? Which one? Which one? Let's do that guy. I think that'll be fine. Ooh. Switch. There you go. Strong tone. Actually, you know what? No. Here. Let's do face melter again, because I know that does too. And then we're gonna Ooh, already out. And then we're gonna put him first. Cause he's stronger than her, so he like protects her. But look! Defeated! One of the cool things is you flip flop back and forth between characters. Uh sick flip. To a single foe. Okay. Oh shoot, come on, bro. Don't be like that, my guy. Yeah, I hope it hurts. Boom. Bring my defenses down like a punk. Not today, Francis. Uh not merch. I wanna look at gear, right? Because I got Class mod, Busker. Okay, so this is one of the examples. Oh, look at how that goes down though. Look at her stats. My life goes up. Deals minuscule melee damage to a single foe. Applies two measures of haste to the player's bar. So this is the class mod. What? So if I equip that, what's it do? Whoa! Gives me a little more razzmatazz. 
in my life. I don't quite like face melter. So if I quit face melter, what does that look like? That's just, this is her. <laughs> okay. My melody goes down, my resistance goes down, my speed goes way down. Hair shredder. So we're gonna keep that. Does he have... I want him to be like the buff guy, you know what I mean? I just, I like that he's so strong. I don't really want his toughness to go away because I need him to be buff for her. But what do you look like when you do that? Ooh. Hooah! But no, go back to... And some of the terms are a bit confusing, so I have to go back and figure out what the each means. So melody is a type of noise, right? It's melody damage, you nitwit. So let's go back. What is his attacks though? Is it melody? It's noise. So his is mostly noise. Yeah. Okay. And then hers is melody. Increases where's melody and speed by 10%. Okay. You gonna fight, man? It's too bad. Get away from me. Blah. I got stuck again. I want to talk about it. Um, let's try it. I feel I feel like it's gotta work at least once. Twenty percent chance. Nice. Ooh, that's a two for bro. Let's do. We gotta do frenzy twang. Okay, and then we're gonna get her going. Oh, done. Those are weak. Look, I didn't want to fight it, but I got stuck by this dang shrubbery. You guys have a bar? Hey, isn't that? It's Box, a generous box enthusiast from earlier. Shh, you blow my cover. Oh, um, <laughs> okay. Birds get a 50% discount on drinks. Oh God, I think he's on to me. You're not a bird at all, are you? I am. Buk, buk, buk. Tweet toot. Oink. Guys, help. Uh, uh. Wow, a green crested box top. What a treat to see such a rare species of bird that usually resides somewhere very obscure and far away. Yeah, uh, can't wait to put that in the uh, bird watching diary. Hmm. Heh, <laughs> I owe you one. Feel free to take anything from the boxes. Though, I'm not sure if I can afford to keep on doing this. Next time we meet, I might have to charge you. Uh, nice. So he did restock the stuff that I lost, but I didn't lose anything because I haven't used it. Um, the first time I ran into him, it was free. This time it was free. I'm afraid that now he's like, ah, eh, no. I might have to charge you. Although, he just took people's stuff, though. So, it's a little rough. Should I talk to Shoes? I'm gonna do it. Claire's been a treasure retreat for us birds, but ever since Kikwak and his gang arrived, it's just become more and more of a dilapidated party house. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for parties, but, well, you must have noticed, it's a mess around here. I don't suppose you're free to help out, maybe pick up some bottles? Gee, we'd love to, but we'll do it. Claire's a dear friend, we must ensure a healthy future for her hair. And I swear to God, Glad to hear it. I greatly appreciate it. I'm sure Claire will too. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so eight bottles will be enough. Side quest. Let's go. Does this count? Found an empty bottle. Found an empty bottle. I wonder if I have to defeat like a lot of the things that are in here. Oh. Hey. Hold on a minute. Do you hear that? Oh, now that you mention it, yes! Sounds like... Scratchy? That must mean we're really close. There's nothing more satisfying than the sound of nearby prey, onto which I shall unleash the full might of my slaps. Okay. Uh, let's try to keep our cool here, alright? You don't want the enemy to gain the upper hand now, right? The only hand which will be up is mine, in preparation of a beefy... Slap. Right. Okay, so I don't want to move forward because I guess this is the way to go for uh, 
the main guy. And we haven't explored everywhere yet, so we're gonna go back. What? What? What even is this? Stock expansion. Nice, but also... Can't see. This <laughs> is a walk into darkness. Holy crap on a cracker. Yo! What? Hey, who's that over there? Do you reckon we have enough footage? This bird's hat is on upside down. This stool is starting to numb the bum, so yes. Ha ha! How do I look? As sick as always, don't worry. I think your fans will really appreciate this behind the scenes look into the music making process. But do you think there should have been more footage of actual music making rather than you just posing and dancing around all the equipment? Nah, don't be silly. Can't be revealing my secret music making techniques. Great point. They're like, they gasp. Recently hatched. <laughs> Looks like somebody finally got through. You gotta be kidding me. Do you think I was just about to praise the crew for keeping the fans at bay? Um, I wouldn't say we're fans. I guess you've earned an autograph at the very least. What do you want me to sign? We're not fans! We don't even know who you are. A what? Well, that's an easy fix at least. The name's Kekwak. And I'm recently hatched. R.H. for short. Now that you know me, welcome to my fan base. Give me a break. Did you cut down that tone wood? What are you talking about? I don't have time for this. Now if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. Oh, but we do mind. You're destroying Claire's quality of life with all your damn scratching. Easy bum boy, I'm just trying to record an album here. Can't you do it somewhere else? Why does it have to be here? This is one of the few places I've recorded in peace without being hassled by fans. It's a celebrity thing you wouldn't understand. Besides, Claire should be honored that I chose her as my venue. Not many can boast that. Huh. Well, if you won't go quietly, maybe some musical damage will get you moving. Oh, so you're one of those dumb bands that signed up to that contest, huh? So we could actually fight with music? Very interesting. I'll admit, when I first heard about the tournament, that gimmick did pique my interest. Shame about everything else, though. Eh? What do you mean by that? Hey, tell you what. I'll leave if you best me in a musical battle. But if you lose, I stay put and you have to plug all my future releases to friends and family. Oh, oh. And maybe we could get photos of you guys in official cakewalk apparel, too. You're on, duckhead. What? I'm not agreeing to that. What if we lose? Too late. It's on. No backsies. Let's go. Yes, Kay. Secure that marketing deal. Watch me lose horrendously. I need you to move faster. Okay, okay, okay. How much is it? 60 hype? Good Jimmy Biscuits. Um, we're gonna fortify. We're gonna go ahead and fortify. Oh. Jimmy Biscuits, bro. Heals a singer ally for 33%. We don't need this yet. We don't need it yet. And I can't fortify no more. Met and look, we haven't, uh, his color has not changed, you know what I'm saying? And she died. I just, I have no idea what his health is at. And, like, 
well. Look at that. I can give it to Ian. But I mean, they ain't gonna do sh Nikes. And then what is this? What is this thing he has? I'm out. What was that? Well, please welcome to the stage, the game overs. Um, let's load from last save. What the heck? Whoa there, keep running around like that and you'll scare them away. What the hell are you doing here? Why, I'm bird watching, of course. A couple of birds are engaging in the meeting ritual just up ahead. To have the fortune experience such an event in person, I can't believe my luck. Marvelous. Perf. Did you see we're in the middle of something? Get out of here! That makes no. Well, the Boombox is playing some real sultry tunes. Eh. Okay, sorry guys, my bad. Oh look, another insufferable band looking to make a name for themselves. Ma'am, who are you? I suppose you seek some sort of collaboration, mm -hmm. like all the others. I am not interested, unless, of course, you can prove yourself to my boys. I doubt you stand a chance against them, though. Perhaps you prefer to approach me directly. Though I wouldn't recommend that either, unless you're the type to revel in humiliation. The choice is yours. Consort with me. My boys are turned tail. Psychic accepted. Aw, oh, man. I don't wanna- I- I- I, I just wanna heal. <laughs> Leaving so soon? Do what you wish, but you should know that my boys will be back to fight. Fight and fit in no time. You'll have to consult with them again, should you return. Still eager to leave? Oh, I guess I'll stay. Well, come on then. I was, I, I, I was just trying to heal, bro. Um, I guess I'm gonna fight you. Are you beatboxing? Uh, are you talking to us or just beatboxing? Da -boom, da -boom. Oh! What did you call us? <laughs> oh, that is it! Come on, Faye. Let's trash this bozo. I'm not entirely sure what he just said. Are you gonna be, like, really hard? Oh, that was everybody, though. Ooh, gosh. She is running. He's gotten enough of his hype back. Hey, as I do, how are you not gone yet? Ian, out of curiosity, what did he say before the fight to make you so angry? No idea. Humans! Death to the humans, death to the beakless. Prepare to hopelessly squirm as your bodies turn as red as the walls that surround us. Uh, nice poem, mate. Door. He certainly has a way with words. But does he have a way with action? Yes. Alright, let's go. Alright, you know the drill, baby. Oh. <gasps> what the what? Ooh, ah, ah, ah. Okay, sir. You are doing the most. Ooh, man. All right, lady. Hm, impressive. I think we've proven ourselves, no? I suppose I should thank you for entertaining my boys. They've been fighting amongst themselves for too long. Seeing them establish a common enemy is refreshing, to say the least. But I hope for your sake that you are sufficiently warmed up after slapping them around. Because it's time for the headline act. Ooh, guys, my wrist hurts. That's how serious it is. That's messed up. I beat all of them. This should not be a thing. You know what I'm saying? He will definitely need the health. Oh my gosh. And she healed herself. He's gone. 
Yeah. And she's not making it. Dude, this is nuts! I made it past the four guys. I feel like they should not have been able to help her out in their, like, ghost form. You know what I mean? But, I feel like I'll go ahead and stop the video there. Uh, all in all, I'm actually having a pretty good time with this particular game. It makes me, I did not see that, <laughs> okay? It makes me uh, have to like stop and try to strategize instead of just going in and smashing buttons hoping for the best. So if this is a game that interests you, it is available on Steam. You know, we only do indie games here, so help support the creator with this uh, with their project, I believe it took them about eight years to get this out, so it's pretty good, pretty decent. Um, and like always, if you enjoyed the video, please don't hesitate to drop a subscribe, leave a comment if you have any suggestions of any games you'd like to see featured on the channel. Um, I try to upload every week. Uh, the day isn't really set, but I try to get some new content out to you guys as much as I can. And uh, you can also find me on other social media platforms. The description for the are the links for those will be in the description below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.